So in light of a new God of War on the horizon, less than a month out now, I thought I'd take a wee look at the 2018 version on the PS4 via the PS5. So, you know, let's dig in and see what big angry Kratos is up to today. <laughs> Right, so what is it they say about this game then? It's um it's the what the fifteenth God of War game. Actually it's not, it's it's number four in the the, the line. You know, the, the numericals. But it's not called God of War 4. It's just called God of War, confusingly, because now there's two games with the same name. There's God of War PS2 and God of War PS4. So when I refer to this game as God of War, I need to even say like God of War PS4 or God of War 2018. And people are like, oh, is it a remake? No, it's a continuation. Why is it got the same name then? I said, like, I don't fucking know why it's got the same name. Don't ask me, I'm no Sony Santa Monica, okay? I am just me. But I do think this is the grumpiest Kratos has ever been, because he lost his family in the first game, right? Ares, the, the, the god of war, the Greek god of war, um, tricked Kratos into killing his, his wife and daughter and then bonded the ashes of them on his skin, that's why he's so pale. So, and then in this one, he's got a boy called Atreus, and his wife, can't remember the name, but she's dead. I think she's like half giant or something like that because she's a big woman when they pick her up. And, you know, but the, the older games are violent and they're like arcadey, and this one's got a lot of somber moments. And I just wasn't prepared for that. You know, so fucking hell, the weight, the emotion is there, and I blame Last of Us for the. It's, it's your fault, Naughty Dog. Yeah, pricks. And you, after all that, and you, you you set your wife down in a wee pyre and you set fire there, and, and you go off hunting with your boy, and he's. Not actually as annoying as I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be this wee, whiny, annoying bastard. But he wasn't he? It was just, you know, normal levels of whiny, annoying bastard, I suppose, for a I think he's about ten years old or something. So you trudge through the forest and you see all the wee sights and you pick up with all the wee collectibles and then you get hit by fucking Draugr and you're like, what the fuck's going on? Draugr! Now, the, the Draugr are undead Viking warriors. You've seen them in Skyrim as well. Fucking hunters are the bastards. But uh, it makes it less gory because they're, they're dead and when they die they just sort of turn into dust. And look, there are gory moments but there's nowhere near as many violent moments as God of War 3. For that game is just fucking violence, personification, overload, blood, heads, fucking ev everywhere. It's um, it's quite a sight. I, I recommend you play God of War 3 because it is available as a remaster on the PlayStation 4. But I think it's high time that the rest of the God of War games ported. Doesn't need to be a big fancy remake, just 1080p, 60fps, original games go because they're good enough. They're good enough to be ported like that. So, get it done, Sony. What the fuck are you doing, pricks? I've been saying pricks a lot, haven't I? Tut tut. But speaking of visuals, the God of War 4 visuals are smashing. Even back when I was playing it in PS4 Pro, fucking brilliant looking game, and they've just pushed it over that visual edge for uh, the PS5. I think it has had a PS5 update. If it hasn't, then fuck me, it's better looking than I remember, but I'm sure it has had a a PS5 update. So you're going to be getting a lot of fucking delights in this game. And the game's got a photo mode and you can give Kratos and Atreus funny faces. Brilliant, mate. I That's well good. Love that shit. I love it when you can do daft shit. Make the grumpiest man on earth smile. It's actually kind of freaky. I remember in the Adams Family 2 movie where Wednesday Adams smiles at that fucking camp. It's something a little bit like that. So you're going to get a lot of, a lot of visual treats. And the soundtrack's great as well. It's fucking well good. Well, well in the mood. Very, very Skyrim as well, because it's well it's Viking, isn't it? That's three big Viking games I can think of. Skyrim, this God of War, and Valhalla, Assassin's Creed. Fucking good day to be a Viking lover, I think. There's also a game called Mountain Blade where you can go a Viking, so... Brilliant! Oh!
Right, I'm going to talk about the combat a wee bit. Now, combat at the start was a bit repetitive and I was a bit concerned because I could only swing the axe back, forward, up, down, back, forward, up, down, back, forward, up, down. Yeah, you know what I mean? You see when you're fighting these wee guys and the wee health bar comes up, there's a wee orange health bar below it. And every time you scalp them, that goes up and the green one goes down. But if the orange one goes up before the green one goes fully down, you can do a finisher. And that finisher will actually have a small area of effect because you'll rip open this lava monster or any monster and it has a magical effect and covers the surrounding bad guys in gloop and then they're easy to defeat. Now you can use the axe, the Leviathan axe, which behaves like Mjolnir. You throw it and you call it back to you, just like Mjolnir. And it's, a, it's an ice-based weapon. You can use your fists, sometimes that's preferable. Sometimes you have to because you'll get frozen enemies like wee blue guys that look like fucking white walkers for Game of Thrones. Fucking fuck Game of Thrones. And you'll have to use your hands, your feet, and your shield to defeat them because the they're, well, they're ice enemies so they're impervious to attacks from the axe. Ooh, that rhymed! And then you'll just be booting fuck out these bastards and then you'll notice you've got a rage mode like in the old games and you'll boot fuck out people even more. There are a nice few surprises for weapons later on. I'm, uh, you probably already fucking know that. This game is from 2018, it is a number of years old now. Nay, I just fucking couldn't remember how good it was and I was playing it and I was smashing cunts early heat and I was just like, Yes, this is fucking smashing! Hard though. Has a new game plus, which makes it even fucking harder. Good luck with the Valkyries, by the way. Pricks that they are. Bastards! It's got about a 40 hour campaign, 40, 30 hours, somewhere around there. Depends how hard it is, how many times you snuff it. Even on normal, I snuffed it quite a few times. Because I'm shite, because my reaction time is like a fucking brain dead, blind, 85 year old goat man. Fucking goat man. Speaking of goats, I fucking detest goats, milking goats, jeez. I'd rather eat dirt than goat's cheese, it's fucking disgusting. Ugh, I really hope the sequel's longer than this and more explorable areas. There are a bit of backtracking to doing this like in Zelda games and you have areas to explore. It's just, it's, it's limited, um, so I would like that to be expanded upon, that'd be, that'd be smashing. Instead of and also having like a wee, wee boat, I think you've got a sled in the sequel with the dugs. I hope, hope I didn't imagine that, that'd be cool. Big tundras to fucking... <sighs> Go over and then slaughtering fucking undead Viking warriors, and then beating the shit out of um, fat ass Thor. Uh, stomping these fucking ginger teeth in at the snow. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. And then hopefully we'll get to kill Odin, and then Kratos can go to another pantheon of gods. I would quite like them to kill um, Jesus. Imagine a fight between Kratos and Jesus. Couldn't be a cheating bastard though, because he just resurrects every time you fucking kill them. Kind of like how what happens in this, actually, now that I come to think on it. Aye. Um, can you really ever kill a god? Is, is that really possible? Or do they just go to sleep for a while and come back? Honestly, I think maybe... Um, I don't know what they'll do in the next God of War, actually. It'll be, it'll be a fucking wild ride to find out, and I'm well looking forward to it. So I get this game if you have never played it because it's fucking brilliant and that's just the fucking end of it. Don't have a PS4, don't have a PS4 Pro or 5, fucking buy him one and play this or play it on the PC. Aye, fuck it, play it on the PC. I don't endorse PC gaming because you need to use Steam most of the time because Steam's a prick. I don't like Steam. It's a, it's a forced client. Even when you buy a disc version, you're like, oh, you ain't fucking playing this on Steam. Fuck off. Boy. Fuck right off. Usually there's ways around that. Like with Fallout, I bought Fallout New Vegas, and it's like, oh, the disc version PC, oh, you ain't playing it in fucking Steam. Then you can install the Fallout New Vegas script extender and fuck Steam. Game just works, eh? Naughty, naughty, but fuck it. Don't force me to use a shitey client that I don't want to fucking use. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Ooh.